Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَإِذَا مَسَّهُ الشَّرُّ جَزُوعًا When evil afflicts mankind, he becomes complaining and argumentative. Jazu'a means your heart becomes despairing and your tongue becomes complaining. What do we do about the one who's constantly complaining, constantly dissatisfied? In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises the prophets for not complaining. When Ya'qub alayhi salam, when his children came to him with, with the story of Yusuf and whatnot, what did he say? إِنَّمَا أَشْكُوا بَثِّي وَحُزْنِي إِلَى اللَّهِ I'm not complaining to you. I am complaining to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah praises Ya'qub for not complaining to his own sons. He's complaining to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when the incident of Ta'if happened and the Prophet ﷺ was tortured, he was ridiculed, he was covered in blood, stones were pelted at him, his tongue was silent. When he went away from the people, outside of their earshot, what was the first thing that he said? Allahumma ilayka ashku. Oh Allah, to you I complain. SubhanAllah. So complaining to Allah is the essence of Iman. Now when it comes to the complaining to the makhluk, complaining to the creation, this is something that generally speaking, the default ruling is that it is makruh. Makruh means what? Makruh means you're not going to go to Jahannam, it's not sinful, Allah's not going to punish you, but you're not doing something that you should do. The default of complaining to mankind is that it should be avoided. However, even though this is the default, at times complaining becomes wajib, at times it is mustahab, at times it is mubah, at times it is makruh, at times it is haram, and at times it becomes even kufr. The highest level when, com when complaining becomes wajib and even ibadah is when you complain to Allah. This is ibadah. Complaining to Allah, you will be rewarded. It is a sign of iman. Complaining to Allah is the essence of iman. Complaining to the creation is sometimes wajib. When will it be wajib? When the reason for the complaint is to stop the evil of another person. You complain to the authorities. You complain to the government. You complain to somebody who can stop injustice to another person. So this is a type of complaint. It is wajib. Complaining can also be like mustahab or mubah. And that's when it is your haq, not somebody else's haq. When your haq, you want to get it back. When your haq, your rights, somebody has done dhulm to you, it is up to you. If you want, you can leave it to Allah on the day of judgment. If you want, you can let Allah reward you. Sometimes it's mustahab, sometimes it is mubah. When will complaining be kufr? Let's go to the opposite before we work our way inwards. When will complaining be kufr? Complaining will be kufr. Complaining will actually be against iman when the complaint is harboring resentment against Allah. When a person's complaining actually has a level of like, why is this happening to me? It's not fair. That complaining is not just makruh. When your complaining challenges Allah's qadr, now you have left makruh. And you are now getting into a rejection of iman. And complaining will be haram, not kufr, but haram. When you are saying something haram or getting something haram for somebody. When your complaint itself is not correct. When you exaggerate in your complaint, there's an element of lying involved. Or when you're getting something that is not yours because of a complaint. Then you have used a complaint for haram, it becomes haram.